Welcome back. Uh, the Gambian Vice President credits women for playing a critical role in the peaceful transition of power after December's elections. Uh, despite some successes, uh, Fatumata Jalo Tambajang, who is also the country's Minister of Women's Affairs, says countless challenges remain in the quest for gender equality. Here's viewer is Mariama Diallo with part two of our exclusive interview with the Gambian Vice President. I wouldn't want to have you here and uh, have a woman of your stature in, in Africa and around the world without asking this question. In countries like Rwanda, the, the number of parliamentarian women are uh, very, very high. We've had women presidents like Joyce Banda, Erin Johnson Sirleaf. We've had vice presidents or prime ministers in neighboring countries, Senegal, and now the VP in, in Gambia. So there's a lot of progress that uh, women are making in Africa. At the same time, President Buhari, who talked about one woman in particular, his wife, that belonging to the kitchen or to the bedroom. So I want to just get your sense of what is our status these days in, in Africa and how do you, what kind of assessment do you have? On My personal assessment that being involved in the women's movement over 20 years is the fact that uh, women are progressing. The status of women is improving. Women have predominantly occupied the informal sector. They, are, they have been in the agricultural sector, in the social sector, environment, uh, water and sanitation and everywhere. And they had taken, for many years, they were, they were taking a back seat. But uh, if you measure now, um, from the developmental perspective and economy, you find that women are increasingly finding, creating their own space. And that is what is important. Uh, women are no longer uh, accepting to be silent. What we need to do now is to really have strategies for women where which will be articulated by women mm -hmm. uh, based on their priorities their aspirations and uh, ensure that government uh, is held accountable and i want to actually ask real quick while you're there one of my last questions about the the, the role of women in the, in the transition in this peaceful transition uh, in the gambia yes uh, women played a critical role in the transition uh, we knew that women and children would bear the brunt of um, any conflict. And the situation of Gambia was going towards uh, conflict. So rather than sitting being complacent, we took leadership into the process and uh, helped to bring about the, the change you are, you're talking about in the Gambia. It is peaceful uh, because women were on the, on, on the ground just to advise and to counsel the youths not to go into the streets, because that could have been chaotic, it could have been loss of lives. Uh, women are playing a pivotal role in uh, politics. We need to encourage them more. We need to provide, uh, ensure that all the uh, educational facilities that we have, or opportunities that we have, and other uh, development activities, encourage women to come in the forefront by providing them the productive resources um, the advocacy they need, productive in terms of land tenure system, mm -hmm. um, uh, microfinancing, microcredit, and also mentoring. Mentoring is very important. My passion and uh, commitment is to have more women in the political process, in the economic process. Right now, in the Gambia, we have four women in cabinet. Uh, but uh, looking at the type of government, supportive government that we have back home under the leadership of his presidency, uh, Adam Abaro, you will have more women in decision making by the time we, we complete our tenure of office.